So the Anime Awards recently took place, and many different categories were given awards. But today, I want to talk about the category of the best fight. Basically, everybody knew it was going to come down to two shonen series, All Might vs. All for One, and Boruto Episode 65, Naruto and Sasuke vs. Momoshigi. I will not go into what I voted for in each category, but I will tell you I voted for Boruto Episode 65, aka Naruto and Sasuke vs. Momoshigi, for the best fight of the year, and the fact that it did not win is something I have a major problem with for three main reasons. The first reason, which is first mainly because I want to title the video something along these lines, is that All Might vs. All for One isn't actually a fight. I said this on Twitter and I will say it again. All Might vs. All for One is an emotional moment involving about seven punches. There is little to no actual choreography in that fight. In fact, All Might is in the same spot for most of the battle. He arrives to get blasted around a little bit. And then he kind of just standing in the same spot protecting people and throwing a few punches at all for one for the entire fight. Most of it is used for backstory on Nana Shimura and all for one himself and for monologuing for both characters and for building up all for one as a character. The popularity of this quote unquote fight actually comes from the emotional significance in the story of All Might defeating All For One with United States of Math. It's a fun, emotional, highly tense, awesome hype moment with a really cool attack with some amazing voice acting in both the dub and the sub, and it's overall a lot of fun, but that's it, an emotional moment. That is all it is. Naruto and Sasuke's fight with Momoshiki, on the other hand, is an all-out fight with choreography, easter eggs. It has stages and escalation as it goes up from one level to another, building to an awesome climax. It has fun, little, interesting character easter eggs and moments that demonstrate the personalities of Naruto and Sasuke during the battle and the way they have developed a character such as Sasuke saving Naruto from Momoshiki by kicking him away from an attack. The animation and choreography and hand-to-hand -hand combat displayed in the episode are stunning and beautiful. And the director himself put in over 500 hours into the episode. This episode required an incredible amount of work and is visually stunning. But All Might vs. All for One fight in no way had an impact like this on the anime community. People were talking about this fight like crazy on Twitter for days after it came out. People that don't even watch Naruto at all, people who stopped watching around the pain or people who had never seen the series tuned in to see this episode because the fight was so well animated and so well choreographed. This was an amazing, amazing fight. It was so filled and so multi-layered that I made a 7 minute video going over all the easter eggs and references to other things and moves and attacks in the series and just going over the entire fight in an entire video. It's 7 minutes long and I will be linking it on screen somewhere, but the amount of effort put into this fight is stunning, and in my opinion, it is really not fair to the staff of the episode who worked so hard on it for them to lose to something in something like the anime awards that isn't actually a fight. I know that there's a small thing in reality that Crunchyroll does, but I think it still would have been really cool for us to be able to tweet at these producers and directors and animators and be like, this episode that you worked so hard on won an award. I think that would have been fair. I mean, the director himself put in over 500 hours hour and this was the first episode he had ever directed in anything. But most of all, the biggest problem with it is that it just adds on to this obsession these awards have with My Hero Academia. Now, first of all, I want to say I love My Hero Academia. I haven't covered it as much as I would like to on this channel because I'm not caught up to date with the manga. I'm close to catching up, though. I just finished the overhaul arc. But the point is that I don't get to cover it as much, but I do love My Hero Academia, and I do think it's a great show, but there's this obsession with My Hero Academia. Every category it is nominated for, it basically wins. 
It wins basically every category it's nominated for. Last year, it won basically everything. They called them the My Hero Awards last year as a meme because they won basically too much stuff. And it's just getting to the point where it's like, why should anybody, why should I vote in the best fight category if it's just going to be a My Hero fight? Who cares? Like, Naruto and Daki vs. Momoshiki was clearly, objectively, a better fight. Like, if you ask the look, it was longer, it had actual choreography, more happened. Like, there was just more content in it that was, wasn't talking, and it should have won, but it didn't. So it's getting to the point where, why should I vote? Why should I care when they're clearly just pandering to My Hero Academia? Mind you, I love Crunchyroll. I support them, I love them, I love what they do, and I love that they allow me to support this industry. And I don't blame them for this, because I'm sure there are a large majority of people voting for My Hero Academia. However, it would be nice to see some diversity, and to see other really great things win. Especially in cases like this, when let's be honest, if you look at the content, I think it's safe to say that Naruto and Sasuke vs. Momoshiki should have won this. If you go online, a lot of people agree with me. There are a lot of people saying All Might vs. All for One isn't really a fight and the spectacle and massive moment for animation that is Naruto and Sasuke vs. Momoshiki being ignored is unfair to basically everybody involved. And I just don't like that it contributes to the whole My Hero Awards thing. Because honestly, My Hero Academia didn't deserve that win. I think most people, as I said earlier, agree with that. And it would just be nice if next year, hopefully, we can get some more representation in these awards because My Hero Academia basically wins everything it's nominated for every time and it has happened two years in a row now so that's really frustrating like I spent a long time trying to watch the anime awards I was away on vacation and my internet wasn't very good and if I'm being completely honest with you if I had kept doing it by the end of it I would have been really upset because it's not worth it my Hero Academia wins everything it's nominated for, even when it doesn't deserve it. And I just don't think that's fair to all the people that worked really hard on stuff like Boruto Episode 65. And I have no issue with Crunchyroll, but I just want to explain online publicly my grievance thing with the award. Because if we don't tell people what they could do better, then they're never going to do better. So here I am, Crunchyroll, please... Try to not let My Hero Academia win everything it's nominated for. It just gets really old and difficult to to watch and makes the award boring. Try to give stuff that deserve it, like Burrow for 65 to win once in a while. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like and tell me what you think of My Hero Academia winning best fight in the comment section down below. If you have anything you would like to me to talk about, Tell me in the comments if I have seen the series. I may make a video on it, but the next series I plan to watch it kill a kill. But if you enjoyed this video, certainly like it and subscribe. But above all else, guys, have a great day.